and welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar, my guest today. You're really going to enjoy this show. Uh, from time to time over the last several months, we've had a guest appearance from uh, Dr. Mary Swift of Dallas Laser Dentistry and La La DallasLaserDentistry.com. The, the thing that I, I wanted to say is that they're in the, uh, the high-end um, cosmetic dentistry uh, arena. In fact, uh, Dr. Mary Swift's been the 2011-2012 uh, Cosmetic Dentist People's Choice Award winner in the DFW area. So it's really fun to have uh, another one of their dentists, Dr. Terrell Myers, with us today. Dr. T Terrell, thanks so much. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited about this interview because you have seen this, the dental industry change tremendously. You're, you're award winning, you tend to, to work with the who's who of Dallas. Uh, you're, uh, I mean really, you're, you're an, uh, I don't wanna say an elite dentist, but you kind of are. You work with some very extremely successful people, don't you? Yes, I've been very blessed in that area. Well, I'm excited yeah, for you. Yeah. I want to know more about your journey, though, because uh, you've seen the industry change so much. Tell me about your journey as a dentist. It's interesting. I uh, started when I was a junior in high school and uh, uh, decided I wanted to be a dentist. My dentist talked me into being it. And uh, so I went to dental school, and I was fortunate with uh, uh, going through that. I, I was honored to be the top one clinician in my dental class. And uh, we were taught uh, a certain philosophy of dentistry that most schools weren't teaching. And I liked that philosophy. And so as soon as I got out of, dentist, uh, out of dental school, I actually joined the Air Force for two years and then came and started my practice here in Dallas. And uh, six months into my practice, I went down to the L.D. Pankey Institute of Advanced Dental Education. And that's where I got all of my advanced training in full mouth rehabilitation. And uh, that was the best thing I ever did in my life. It's I, been I my mentor. Know. And so when you, when, when you talk about full mouth dental re restoration and, and cosmetic surgery, what are some of the procedures now that people are doing in that, in that area? The biggest probably thing we're seeing more now is are porcelain veneers. Really? Uh, and implants. Uh, that's been two of the biggest changes in the last you know, 15, 20 years. And uh, so we're doing a lot of porcelain veneers, implants, and uh, crowns, bridges. Have they changed the technology much in those areas? Oh, considerably. Yeah, you know, a few years ago, oh, we would take impressions and pour models and send that to the lab. Now our computers actually scan the tooth. The computer program will make a three-dimensional model and make the crown on that so we never have to take an impression of a patient anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's phenomenal. But working with you, I know that in your practice there are a lot of things that you're doing that are, are fairly unique. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of dentists will say have a, a certain method for uh, connecting to them and, and we'll talk about how to connect to you later but I want to talk about just that you spend a lot of time right up front with people. Well, in, in the training at the Pankey Institute, uh, they are, teach us that it is so important to make a correct diagnosis. And you have to gather a lot of information to make a correct diagnosis. So we do, we spend uh, two and a half hours on our initial examination. And that's gathering, you know, x-rays and medical history and um, models and x-rays, like I said, but uh, and getting to know the patient uh, is so important because uh, the cross that I wear here is the cross of life. And it's, you know, we have to know ourselves, know our patient, know our work, and then apply our knowledge. That's the four legs of the, of the cross. And my patients have become my family. And that's why I've been so blessed in having patients that have been with me 30, 35 years, and I've got several families that I'm treating three generations, grandfather, parents, and, and children now, and uh, that's, that's exciting to me. I love that. Uh, they've been uh, 
some of my best referrals. Oh, I wouldn't doubt. Uh, anytime that you can build a practice like yours that's pretty much 100% referral based. And, uh, but then the fact that, that you spend so much time up front with them is key. Yeah, yeah it's, I'll, often I'll have patients say, you know, can you refer me to an internist or a cardiologist or, or someone that will treat, you, treat me like you treat me? Because you take the time to listen to me. And uh, so I, I get that a fair amount of time. People will ask, you know, refer me to someone that will treat me like you do. As we go into these next few segments, one of the things that I really want to talk about is I, I want I want to learn more about some of the current technology because the the coolest thing is doing some research on you and, and knowing the Swifts and the way that they do things. Technology is is it's paramount with their practice. They stay up on things. Yes, they do. And I know that that means that you stay up on things. And the current technologies of cosmetic dentistry is, uh, well, it's just groundbreaking. I know as we come back, we've got a couple more segments. Dr. Terrell Myers with Dallas Laser Dentistry. We are uh, pleased to have him on the air today, and uh, you will want to get to know him more as we come back in just a minute here. back with the Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar. You're going to love today's show. Today it's Dr. Terrell Myers, Dallas Laser Dentistry, 2011-2012 Cosmetic dentist, uh, Dentistry uh, Award winners for uh, the, la the last few years that Dr. Mary Swift has been. And uh, she, he, Dr. Terrell works with Dr. Mary Swift, who's been on the show many times and, and we're always thankful, always thankful to have him back. So. Thank you so much again. You're welcome. Thank I want to get I want to get into um, really what makes you and your practice so special because you're doing a lot of things that are um, are real. I want I don't want to say say high end, but the technology and the cosmetic stuff in dentistry is it's different from the way it used to be, isn't it? Definitely different, and you know, with managed care we've seen a decrease in quality overall in, in dentistry. And dentists are seeking less expensive labs to make the crowns. And I read a review here two or three years ago that uh, insurance were getting to ask to replace crowns every three to five years. I've got crowns that have been in the mouth 35 years that are still functioning as good as the day I put them in. Wow. And that's because if you take time to do it right the first time, you don't have to take time to do it over. And so that's where a lot of my training has been is, you know, uh, one of my mentors, Dr. Pankey, used to quote Michelangelo a lot. And one of his favorite quotes was, perfection is no trifle but paying close attention to many trifles make perfection. Very nice. And so a lot of what we do is paying very close attention to a lot of little details that takes more time. So like I said previously, you know, my exam takes two and a half hours. Uh, a lot of dentists only spend 15 to 20 minutes on an exam. But we gather a lot of information so that we can make a proper diagnosis. Now then, don't you go ahead and put together a plan or something? I mean, yes. what, once somebody, somebody has gone through this process with you, what's your next steps? I'll, on a, an involved case, which may be a full mouth rehabilitation. It well, may, tell me a story of a client, somebody that's been through it. That okay. would be, that would be kind of, well, we could walk through the yeah. process. Uh, I had this uh, one young man come in. He was probably, uh, at that time, probably about 28, maybe 30. And uh, he hadn't been to a dentist in several years. And I had treated his, pardon me, <coughs>
I had treated his wife, and she had been trying to get him to come see me for four or five years, and he was just scared to death. Well, when I did see him, he had some severe problems and couldn't smile, was very introverted. And he, we ended up having to lose several front teeth, and he had to go through some gums treatment and orthodontics and, and jaw surgery to move his jaw properly. We, he couldn't afford to do all that, so we did that over a five-year period. Nice. To allow him to be able to do that. And part of my training is making a thorough exam and then evaluating what will need to be done over a lifetime. Now, if you've got a plan, you can work that plan, but you don't have to do it all at once. You know where you're going. You've got the end point. So that's what we did with him. We allowed him to do it over a five-year period. He completed everything. The next year, he made the front cover of a business magazine for what he had done. Because, and he said, he brought that in. He said, Dr. Myers, he said, I wouldn't have been on this cover or in the position I am in with this company if it hadn't been for you allowing me to smile, which I couldn't do before. That's, that's, a, just, that's a huge testimonial. Yeah. But it also shows the painstaking works that you do and planning that you guys do that makes such a huge difference. I yeah. think that's, that's the thing that I really wanted to, to bring out. And I know that with technology, there's changes in speed and process and some of the other things, and that's cool. But what you're talking about is life changing, and that's where yeah. it really comes down to, isn't it? Because I remember being, I was about to go to, to the oil field uh, to pay for college one summer, <laughs> and I had two days before I went out there, and I went into the dentist, and he, and he opened up, and uh, you know, he goes, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> he was counting extra holes in my head from like a long I'm ways off, off, and yeah. I was like, oh God, this is going to be bad. <laughs> he goes, well, you got 11 extra holes in your head. We can do it over the next three weeks. So you got two days. He goes, you ain't going to feel or taste nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And so like, off we went, you yeah. know, and I was, uh, it was, it was an adventure, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but now we have nitrous oxide and we have things that, we, that makes it a lot more fun. Well, does, that's an interesting thing. Nitrous is, is there, are the risks involved in nitrous oxide, to be honest? Very little risk. It's one of the best things that, uh, has ha allowed my patients to have the comfort and the relaxation. We use stereo headphones so that they can tune us out and, uh, just enjoy really so they're so really kind of put them in a bit of a state right you know so they're resting and then then you'll go to work do your thing and they're clear-headed before we leave yeah so yeah. It, it's very safe <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah i'll remember oh we i think a lot of us remember the old like uh three stooges things where yeah. somebody had a little bit too much happy gas yeah and uh so <laughs> Yeah. As we go into this next segment, we're going to be talking more about uh, who's the ideal client for Dr. Terrell Meyer, Myers. Uh, this is uh, the Business Spotlight. You're going to love this next segment. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. Today, we're talking with Dr. Terrell Myers. Works with uh, Dallas Laser Dentistry and Mary Swift's office. Uh, having them back on the show is always a fantastic experience. Dr. Terrell Myers has been a dentist for a number of years and tends to work with the who's who of Dallas. Thank you, Dr. Terrell. Thank you for having me. I, I really am excited about this segment because we're looking at who's your ideal client. We've, we've got a, 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 what I call a social media expert, uh, way beyond expert, and top 1% in LinkedIn. Lucinda Rook is on the show today. Thank you so much, Linda, uh, Lucinda, for being on the show as well. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. We're going to talk about your ideal client, how you've tended to attract them, 
And then Lucinda, I know, has got some really good info, information on how to encourage the clients that you have to send more clones, or I mean, people like them. <laughs> 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 so, well, it, my patient or my practice is health-based, somewhat nutritionally based. So, my patients are usually very health-oriented. Uh, most of them uh, watch their weight. They floss every day, or they're supposed to, and uh, they want a healthy mouth. In uh, I think a lot of my patients are in the boomer category, and most of them are wanting to continue to look younger, stay it's healthy. It's important to them, isn't it? Important for their business. Uh, one of my uh, patients and a good friend of mine, he came in and he owns an insurance company. And he says, I'm the oldest one there. And he's <laughs> not really that old, but he said, I got to look as young as the guys that I'm working with. So he's having a lot of work done. And so I'm looking, you know, for patients uh, would be the ideal is the ones that want to stay healthy because if they're taking care of their body, they'll take better care of their teeth. And what I do lasts longer if they'll take care of it. Absolutely. And one of the things though, that's kind of interesting is the correlation between dental health and actual physical health. There is a correlation there, isn't there? Hip bones connected to the leg bones. <laughs> well, it's all, all connected. And uh, yes, in fact, uh, just a few years ago, the uh, American, uh, uh, the orthopedic surgeons found out that a lot of their failures was because undiagnosed periodontal disease or gum disease. And so we have to pre-medicate some of these patients or get their gum condition under control before they do hip replacements. And, and it's definitely, a, there's a link to uh, cardiovascular disease also wow. with, with gum disease. That's awesome. Well, Lucinda, are there, uh, are there some of the things that he can do to attract more people like the ones that he's got? Oh, you're in a great situation. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> You've got all these accomplishments. You've always been a leader, ahead of the game, right? Well, did you know that you're in the top 1% on LinkedIn in cosmetic dentistry? Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> I bet you didn't. Yes, you are. And the second thing is, is if you think about how LinkedIn operates, it's an easy way to collect referrals because, guess what? When they click on you or when they give you a recommendation, their picture with their smile that you just <laughs> artistically put together for them is right there next cool. to yours. Hmm. So if you think about you out on LinkedIn, think about looking down the list and you'll see your patients there. Yeah. So the yeah. opportunity you have is to go invite your patients that you've already collected their testimonials over on your real website, right? And right. in your office, invite them on LinkedIn and get them hooked up. Hmm. And that would be like cool. a whole photo gallery of successes. <laughs> well, yeah. even with the, the whole recommendation thing, with them mm -hmm. be, uh, being able to write additional kind of updates, uh, would that, wouldn't that be a, a useful tip as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd want to do that. Shoot. Uh, when they're leaving your office and they're still smiling so pretty because you've just reconstructed them, I just send them home with the instructions here. Here's how you give me a recommendation on LinkedIn. Okay. And then when they do that, it's out there on their profile so all of their yeah. network yeah. sees it. Wow. So it would be a great way yeah. for you to leverage your work into their network and their cohorts see it. Okay. Because they're all into image. I mean, right. out of the 200 million out there on LinkedIn, the demographics is that right age you were talking about, yeah. that baby boomer got to get yeah. the <laughs> cosmetics going now, you know? Yeah. And the demographics of the income, average income's over six digits. So that's kind of right down your alley yeah. of what you're trying to attract. So it's ideal for you. Cool. Yeah. Well, I know you also have some, some uh, tips and techniques and things that you're going to give him uh, afterwards, right? Yes. Uh, yes. So, and, have if some people, right, well, <laughs> and, and if people well, and if people want to connect to you, I believe they've got it on the screen, or they will your information. That they will you share what you're giving to Dr. Terrell? Sure. Uh, Myers. I'll share the top ten for businesses, but I have a special set for you. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. That's one All of the right. things that's really important is that. 
you know, in bringing a guest expert on, the show's about you. It's about my guest. It's about taking the time to really highlight and create some useful um, ways for my guest to tell her story. And so bringing a guest on is just trying to it, always add value, always increase the, the response of the marketplace to everything that we're doing here and everything my client is doing. I know as we go into this last segment, you're going to love this part because it really is how to connect to Dr. Myers and you won't want to miss that. And then the things that they do that make the real difference in your life. So we'll be right back. This is Pat Doerr. Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar, guest today, Dr. Terrell Myers. And we're talking about cosmetic surgery, uh, excuse me, cosmetic dentistry. I always want to throw those two together, but sometimes I guess that's really not the case because uh, uh, the dentistry is, is really about reconstructing everything that makes your smile what it should be. Thank you, Dr. Myers. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And I, I want to get into, you know, like, how people connect to you, but you have a real process and a system that people walk through in you creating the perfect smile for them. Wouldn't that be correct? Yes. So what's the process? As we have them in for a complete examination, we, we take records and models, and then through their health history, I find out, you know, I usually say on a scale of one to 10, if 10 were ideal, where would you put your smile? And then I asked, where would you like for it to be? 11 uh, to 15, right? On the scale 15, from 1 to 10. Right. <laughs> and so from that, we take their models and I will send it to a laboratory and they do what we call a diagnostic wax up. They'll make their smile pretty on a model. So it's it actually something they can, you can hand them. Hand they them. look at, they can see, this is where you're at, this is where you could be. Exactly, on a model. And then if they like that, then we prepare the teeth and we will make temporary crowns from that model. So that's their trial. And we can work out their aesthetics and their phonetics and their function because phonetics is the way you speak. Right. And the shape of the front teeth, the angle, how far back or how far out determines a lot of the speeches, uh, speech sounds, we S's and F's and C's, all, V's are all determined by where the front teeth are located. And the upper teeth are supposed to follow the lower lip line. And so those are things we look at and that gives them a chance to actually wear the crowns and then we can make any adjustments because it's out of plastic. And then once we work all of that out and it's comfortable and it looks good to them, we take another set of models and we send that to the laboratory and they duplicate that into the permanent crown. So uh, a lot of times in dentistry, one of my mentors used to say, in the old way, we would s send a bunch of work to the lab and come back and it's kind of like Christmas. You'd open it up and you didn't know what you were getting. <laughs> and sometimes they liked it and sometimes they didn't. So this way we can actually work it out and they can make any changes and they know once we get to that point that that's what the permanents are going to look like and they're going to like it. Have you seen anybody literally get that first set on and almost faint from the difference? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've had uh, one patient that just really could not smile and we went through this process and even with the temporaries, it was just, wow, that's what I've always wanted. But when we changed it to the permanents, because the plastic and porcelain is a whole different, the light reflects better, and I mean, she's got tears in her eyes. Just, wow, that's it's just 
She I, smiled I more I after never, that. <laughs> oh, could, could not wipe the smile off her face. You, yeah, you, yeah. you could let her thaw out from the happy gas all yeah, you wanted. You it's, smile was yeah. still going to be plastered right. on yeah. there. It was good. That is awesome. Yeah. And I bet you've done that, well, several times, haven't you? Several times. It's the, the real difference. And I hear it in, in everything you're saying is that you, one, you care. Yeah. Two, you treat them like family. Three, you spend the time to create a plan and a system, and then you work with them to implement it. You know, uh, several years ago, I, we were talking with one of my patients, and uh, he said, you know, I've spent more money on my teeth than I ever thought I would ever spend on just about anything. And he said, it wasn't until we finished that I understood what we what you just went through the time that you took the care that you took he says you're actually underpaid for the hours you spent with me and that's often the case I get is people will say you know I don't didn't understand the fee until afterwards of what what you do. <laughs> All I can say is, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't understand the value of video until after they get, yeah. you know, a thousand links or something back to them. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, I get that. I get that. In, in going forward, do you see any real significant changes coming in the industry? I think the social media is one thing that is we're seeing more and more I, I'm inundated with emails and letters from different businesses of trying to motivate us to buy into certain social media or get our business into Facebook LinkedIn all of these and so a lot of our continuing education now is how to handle social media I think that's going to be the ma major change I think in the future, because along with all the te new technology that we're seeing now, the computers have just changed our world. Well, it's the old the old styles of marketing have really fall, fallen away. Whether yeah. it was, you know, I hate to use, you know, the yellow pages or some of these other media. Um, really, today, one of the reasons why this show is aired in DFW in Houston, and then it's aired all over the internet, is that I know that video is the future for marketing your business. It's kind of the new yellow pages because Google loves yeah. video. They love YouTube. They'll love the video that we create. This is Patrick Dewar. The Business Spotlight is about a business owner telling their story in the marketplace and then us promoting that business everywhere from then on. See you next time on the Business Spotlight.